Tourism leaders are pleading for a return to travel for business and conventions. While leisure travel is bouncing back, a group is lagging. And West 2's Amanda Dukes reports some are sounding a warning about the possible implications for the local economy. Before the pandemic, ballrooms like these at the Hyatt Regency would be filled with meetings and trade shows. But group travel to Orlando is down about 67% right now. And today, some local leaders sounded a warning about what that may mean. We have to get business travel back. The heads of the American and Florida Restaurant and Lodging Associations made a plea in Orlando Tuesday for business travelers and conventions to return to Florida. Leisure travel alone cannot make our industry survive. We have to have this convention center filled. The tourism leaders say hotel revenues in Orlando last year were down 65 percent. They predict the industry won't fully recover for another two to three years. While they welcome the rapid return of leisure travel, the slow return of business travel is a serious concern. Complicating things is a labor shortage. We are in straight line competition with the government. When people are being paid what they're being paid to stay home and not go to work, then why get up and go to work? Carol Dover, the head of the Florida Restaurant and Lodging Association, applauded state lawmakers for putting an end to federal unemployment benefits as of June 26th. She says that, combined with the return of a job-seeking requirement for those on unemployment, has caused a spike in applications for hospitality jobs. Now tourism leaders hope for a spike in group travel bookings. We want to continue to get the word out that Orlando is open, Florida is open, and we are safe, and it's safe to come visit our state. In Orlando, Amanda Dukes, WESH 2 News. According to the Florida Restaurant and Lodging Association, prior to the pandemic, the hospitality industry was Florida's largest employer, representing more than 1.5 million workers. Within 30 days after the start of the pandemic, more than 935,000 of those workers have been furloughed or laid off.